Now let's just say you have never played Call of Duty Zombies before, and that I told you you could play as John F. Kennedy in the Pentagon fighting zombies. You'd say that's pretty ridiculous and it just doesn't seem like a thing, but that is exactly what 5 is. 5 was a free bonus map in Black Ops 1 that launched alongside Kino de Toten on November 9th 2010. 5 is seen as the worst map out of the two and I can agree with that, it is the worst. But that doesn't change the fact that 5 is criminally underrated. In today's video I'm going to be going over some facts about 5 and also go into more detail on why I think it's underrated and needs more love. So in this map you play as five real life figures from the Cold War era, being John F. Kennedy, which will probably be one of the most known characters in Five. He was the President of the United States from 1961 to 1963. We also had Robert McNamara. He was the US Secretary of Defense from 1961 to 1968. We had Richard Nixon. He was the Vice President of the US from 1953 to 1961. And then we also had Fidel Castro. He was the Prime Minister of Cuba from 1976 to 2000. At least you can say you've learned something from this video about US history. In this map, they all had a meeting in the Pentagon to discuss a missile crisis that happened in Cuba. And during their meeting, there was a zombies outbreak. In terms of the story, we don't really know much about Five. All we know is that the four did survive. But one thing that gets me is we don't fully know why Samantha wanted to kill these four. But it is speculated that it was because the US was obviously working with Group 935. Five was the foundation for many big things in zombies, which people overlook. For example, it brought us the first standalone boss zombie after the dogs. And obviously, this is the Pentagon thief. And I know people do find him annoying and a little bit frustrating, but honestly, he's not that hard to kill. He's also a very unique boss out of all of the bosses in Call of Duty Zombies as he's the only person that would steal your weapons. Also to me, which is very weird, most bosses that we get are zombified, so we get the zombie dogs, you know, the Panzer Soldat is a zombie, but the Pentagon thief is human. It also brought us the bonfire cells, which we don't see enough in zombies. Not only that, it also gave us the death machine power-up, which people really overlook. And I feel like Five doesn't get enough credit for bringing these features to life. In terms of layout and design in this map, I really enjoyed it. There was three levels to this map that you could access by going into elevators. The spawn room or the third floor on the map is the boardroom, the second is the war room, and then the first floor is the labs. For me, what makes the aesthetics of this map look really cool is that the fact that because the zombies outbreak just happened, the map doesn't look run down at all. So we've got no smash glass, we've got no dead zombies on the floor, we've got no blood, we've got no help signs. It's just the pentagon, completely clean, and I like that. It definitely makes the map stand out more in terms of all the other maps because all the other maps are run down with zombies everywhere and stuff like that. As I said at the start, 5 is very underrated. I think it needs to get much more love than it does already get, which is really none anyway. It's a very forgetful map to a lot of people because obviously it was up against Kino de Toten as they both launched together and when people played they would obviously go over to Kino and I think personally that's because Kino was a little bit easier and more of a mainstream zombies map. Personally for me and I'm sure a lot of other people they'd play 5 for a little bit more of a challenge or maybe a bit of a break from Kino de Toten. Personally now when I go back to Black Ops 1 and I want to play a map, 5 will be the one that I always return to. And when writing the script for this video and getting some gameplay for it and refreshing my mind on it, I had a really good time playing 5. So I've got one request for you guys to do. All I want you to do is either whether you've played 5 before or you've never played it, I want you to go download it or buy it or whatever and just play a game of 5, whether that's with friends or solo, whether that's a classified version, anything like that, I just want you to go and play 5. And then just put in the comment section below honestly what you guys thought about it from that game. Because I think if people were playing it when the game first came out, they were a little bit worse at zombies, and maybe going replaying it now, they'll find a new love for it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, there's another video on the screen, please click it.